Hi, I'm James Taylor, the author of Jazz and Improvised Piano. Um, I'm afraid I've got the uh, phone balanced on the music stand here, so I can't show you my face, but um, it's in the other videos. Um, I'm going to now describe to you a piece called uh, Dorian Funk. And first of all, we're going to talk about finally the famous So What Calls, which are actually out of a piece by a jazz musician called Miles Davis, um, called So What. And it sounds like this. Now, let's look first of all at what, at a way that we can make up these chords. If we look at a D minor triad, that's a D minor triad there. It's three steps between the bottom two notes and four steps between the top two. And we can put a seventh on top. The seventh, of course, being two steps below the upper root, two steps below the D there. So that's our D minor seven chord. Now, we can take the third, the F, and the fifth, the A, up an octave. That's the third and the fifth. Which gives us that chord there. So we've still got the same notes, we just changed the order. Now, we can put the note that's a fourth above the bottom note in as well. So a fourth above the D is five steps. One, two, three, four, five above it, which will give you a G. So we've now got this chord here. Um, this actually provides all the notes for the so what chord. So we start off with our minor triad here. Put the seventh on top. Now here we've got one, three, five, and seven. We take three and five, in this case the F and the A, up an octave. And then we put the note that's a fourth above the bottom note, the G in. And that gives us so what chord. And in the book, I recommend that you try this out in different keys. There's E minor, first of all. There's an E minor triad. Two sets below the upper D, E two <laughs> is a D. And that's our E minor 7 chord. One, three, five, and 7. We can take 3 and 5, the G and the B, up an octave. And then we can put the note that's a fourth above the bottom note in, which is the A. And that's our solo chord. So we've got the D solo chord that we found and the E solo chord. Now this is where we to play them. It's actually more comfortable to play the top three notes with the right hand. So play the top three notes with the right hand and the bottom two notes with the left hand. There's a shortcut to find these, these chords as well. You simply find the minor triad in the right hand, in this case a minor triad of D minor, and then replace the bottom note, the D, with a note two steps below it, one, two, which is a C. The left hand finds the lower root, a low D, because it's a D minor chord, and the note a fourth above that, which is five steps, one, two, three, four, five, which is a G. So that's our shortcut. Find the minor triad, replace the bottom note of that triad with notes Two steps, uh, a note two steps below it, which gives you your C. Left hand finds the low root, and the note a fourth above that. And in the key of C, we would find a C minor triad. Replace the bottom note with notes two steps below it, one, two. Um, the left hand will find the low root, and play the note a fourth above that. Now, if we look at the E minor solo chord, and then the D minor solo chord. We've got the two chords that are actually used in the piece So What? And we can support this by using a sort of upbeat A going to a D in the left hand. And then we can improvise freely on on the white notes. The right hand can be any white notes. Um, notice the rhythm here. Now, we're playing in a D Dorian mode. All the white notes. It's the Dorian mode because if we look at D major scale, we've got the F sharp and the C sharp. Um, the F sharp is the third of D major scale, and the C sharp is the seventh. 
For the Dorian mode, we take the major scale and we flatten the third, so the F sharp becomes an F natural, and we flatten the seventh, so the C sharp becomes a C natural. So D Dorian is all the white notes. So we've got. And we can improvise freely in D Dorian. Now we can also go outside briefly. Um, D Dorian being all the white notes. The black notes are all outside by default. Notice here that to find the notes outside of D Dorian, what we can do is to go up the major third which is four steps, one, two, three, four, higher. And if we were to look at the, at, well, this is called, it's actually called G-flat major pentatonic. We're taking the notes of G-flat major scale, and we're using the notes one, two, three, five, and six. Those are the notes one, two, three, five, and six in the G-flat major scale. And this, of course, works for any Dorian mode that we, that, that we choose to work in. Anyway, more of that in the next part of this uh, improvisation. Have fun with what we've done so far.